In this video, we're going to show you to replace the starter on your Dodge Ram, located on the driver's side, lower portion of the engine. Let's go ahead and use our 3 8 wrench. I'm going to go ahead and loosen this nut and remove the terminal. I'm going to go ahead and spin off the terminal and just go ahead and set this aside. Lift up on our protective boot here. Now that we have our boot off here, we're going to use our 10 millimeter socket on our gear wrench. Now that we have the bolt loose, let's go ahead and spin the terminal off. And go ahead and set that aside. Right here is our battery hold down wedge and it's a 13 millimeter bolt with a 13 millimeter nut on the other side. So we're gonna use a wrench on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and hold that. Point here and go ahead. Pull that out. Once you have that wedge out, go ahead and remove the battery, set that aside. I'm going to use our 16 millimeter deep socket and we're going to go right behind this bracket right here. And there is a bolt right inside here. Going to use our ratchet, see if we can go ahead and break that free. And then up on top, there's one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that bolt there. And then we'll get this one up top. Now with those bolts removed, go ahead and pull that out. Now you want to be careful because there is a wire harness attached to it. You want to flip this over. You don't want the starter to dangle off of this harness. So if you can prop it up, you want to go ahead and remove this nut here. You want to disconnect this connector. Use a 13 millimeter socket, loosen and remove that nut. and work that lug free. Now on this connector here, there's just a little pinch tab on the top side of it. It's gonna pinch and wiggle that connector off. Grab that starter and pull it out. Let's go ahead and bring the starter up into position. I'll go ahead and take that main lug right here, put that on. And get the nut started on there. Line up that electrical connector. Push it on, lock it into place. I'm going to tighten down the nut here. Once we get this nut tightened down, we can go ahead and torque it to seven foot pounds. I want to go ahead and feed this up and over. Insert the starter back into the bell housing area. I'm going to start with our upper bolt, get that lined up. Once that's in, we're going to go ahead and try and get the lower bolt lined up. I'm going to put the bolt on our socket here. Once you have them both started in a few threads, go ahead and snug those down.
Then once you have both of the bolts in, you want to go ahead and torque these bolts down to 50 foot pounds. Now you can go ahead and install the battery and you're all set. Go ahead, bring your battery over. Lower that down into position. I'm gonna go ahead and take our battery wedge block. This portion of the wedge will go up against the base of the battery. Drop that down into place. Then take our nut. In most cases, you can remove the battery without removing this block completely. We just found it easier to go ahead and do so. Go ahead and grab your wrench and your socket here and snug that down. Once that's secure, we can now go ahead and install our battery terminals. Go ahead and line these up. Push these down into place and go ahead and tighten down our bolt here. Go ahead and tighten down the positive bolt here. Slide that boot on top. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.